Because I want to do a piece about real people, Baron. And I want to set it in a real place, a boudoir. <coughs> because that, to me, is the most exciting place on earth. Underclothes on the floor, sheets still warm from a woman's body, even a piss pot brimming under the bed. Mozart. I want life, Baron, not boring legends. Yes, Salieri's recent denials was legend, and it did not bore the French. <laughs> well, it is impossible to bore the French, <laughs> except with real life. <laughs> I had assumed that since you joined the Brotherhood of Masons, you would choose more elevated things. Oh, elevated! Elevated! The only thing that a man should elevate is his doodle! You are provoking, <laughs> sir! Must everything be a joke? Excuse the language, Baron, but really, how can we go on forever with these gods and heroes? Because they go on forever, that's why. They represent the eternal in us. <coughs> Opera is here to ennoble us, Mozart. You, me, just as well as the Emperor. It is an aggrandizing art. It celebrates the eternal in man and ignores the ephemeral, the gods in woman, and not the laundress. Well said, sir, exactly. Oh, yes, well said, sir, exactly. <laughs> I don't understand any of you. You're all up on perches, but it doesn't hide your assholes. You don't give a shit about gods and heroes, if you're honest, each of you. Which of you is it more at home with his hairdresser than Hercules, or Horatius, or your stupid deniers come to that? Or mine? Mine, too. Mitrinati's King of Pontus, Le Seigneur de Chipione. All those anguished antiques, they're all boars. Boars, boars, boars! All serious operas written this century are boring. Well, 999 out of a thousand. Look at us. Four gaping mouths. What a perfect quartet. I'd love to write it. Just this second of time. This, now, as we are. And Chamberlain, thinking, impertinent Mozart, I must go speak to the emperor at once. Herr Prefect, thinking, ignorant Mozart. Debasing opera with his vulgarity. Herr Court composer thinking German Mozart. What can he finally know about music? And then Mozart himself in the middle thinking, I'm just a good fellow. Why do they all disapprove of me? That is why opera is so important, Baron. Because it is realer than any play. The dramatic poet would have to put all those thoughts down, one after another, to represent this second of time. But the composer can put them all down at once and still make us hear each one of them. Astonishing device of vocal quartet. I tell you, I want to write a finale lasting half an hour. A quartet becoming a quintet, becoming a sextet, a septet, an octet, a nullinet, on and on, wider and wider, all sounds multiplying and rising together. And the together making a sound entirely new. I'll bet you that's how God hears the world. Billions of sounds ascending at once and mixing in his ear to become an unending music unimaginable to us. And that's our job. That is our job, we composers, to combine the inner minds of him and him and him and her and her, the thoughts of chambermaids and court composers, and turn the audience into God.
Mm. <laughs> oh, forgive me. If I talk nonsense all day, it's incurable. Ask Tom as well. My tongue is stupid. My heart isn't. No. You're a good fellow under all that nonsense. I know it. He'll make a fine new brother, won't he, Salieri? Better than I, Baron. Just try, my friend. Or serious with your gifts. Bueno fortuna, Mozart. <laughs> Grazie, signore. Oh, stop frowning, Herr Chamberlain. I'm a jackass. It's easy to be friends with a jackass. Just shake his hoof. <laughs> Was finished. Finished? Right here in my novel. The rest is just scribbling. Good day. Good day. He's going to be proud of me. You'll see. <laughs> that young man is very lively. 